to the Ashanti region now, where 16 remand prisoners have been freed from the Kumasi Central Prison under the Justice for All program. The 16 include Kwabina Jemfi, who has been on remand for the past seven years without hearing. This is the story of a 38-year-old father of three, Kwabna Jemfi, a farmer who was arrested and detained for allegedly murdering his wife in 2010. According to him, he has not been granted hearing since the incident some seven years ago. Kwabna is now paralyzed due to tuberculosis he contracted whilst on remand. He depends on fellow inmates to move around. His story is similar to most of the 133 applicants of the Justice for All program at the Kumasi Central Prison. The facility with an original authorized capacity of 950 inmates currently has 1,854 inmates. Chairman for the Justice for All program, National Tax Force, Justice Clements Honyanuga, so the program is targeted at giving fair and speedy here to accused persons on remand. It is uh, the wish of the Honorable Lady Chief Justice that all judges and magistrates who have been handling these matters in connection with remand prisoners should endeavor to do so according to law and not remand persons unnecessarily. The exercise lasted for two days with three high court judges hearing varied cases. The statistic stands as follows. Uh, the total number of inmates who have been discharged is 16. And uh, four were convicted and they are to serve their sentences. 45 were granted bail. 32 applications for bail or discharge were refused. And uh, 16 applications were struck out for various reasons. And uh, 20 of the numbers uh, were absent. Uh, this can be due to the uh, fact that some of the uh, some of the judges, the trial judges, uh, discharged some of them or granted bail to others, and some of them were just completely absent. A chunk of the cases heard during the sitting were stealing, child theft abuse and damages related. On the second day of the exercise, most cases were dismissed for the lack of adequate evidence. Some special cases which could not be heard in 2016 due to a rout that occurred were also giving attention. The next setting is at the Tamale Central Prison.